After seeing a lifeless Arizona Cardinals side lose to Seattle with my own two eyes at Seahawks Stadium in weeks since I was convinced that Cliff Kingsbury would be fired right then and right there. It wasn't just the lost performance on the field that made me think that. The team just gave off these really bad vibes on the sidelines prior to kickoff. Look, pregame vibe and hype, it won't win you in an FL game, but it can sure as hell lose one. The Cardinals appeared as if they were at an office party before the matchup against the Seahawks. There were a few clicks gathered, some players were off doing their own thing, no one seemed all that excited for the task at hand or appeared if they even wanted to be there at all. At no point on that given Sunday did this feel like a football team. It was just a collection of guys paid to play football. That is bad. And this problem falls entirely on Cliff Kingsbury, who has apparently installed a culture of indifference in Arizona. Head coaches, they don't need to be rah-rah guys, nor do sidelines need to be full of jacked up dudes headbutting each other into a bloody pulp. However, there should be, there must be, some energy and signs of life. Let's zoom out from this micro event of Kingsbury's tenure to a macro view of his head coaching career. He is an empirically bad, or at the very, very least, mediocre head coach. A 27-30-1 record with a single playoff appearance in the NFL should be a huge red flag. Hell, Frank Reich was just let go by Indianapolis despite doing significantly better than that. But let's be real here, Kingsbury should have never been hired as the Arizona Cardinals head coach in the first place. Nothing on his resume up to that point made him even remotely qualified for this job. That's because in six seasons with Texas Tech, he compiled a record of 35 and 40 and never once finished Big 12 play above 500. Kansas was the only other school to go without a winning record in conference play during that span. And it goes without saying, you do not want to be on a list with the 2010's Kansas Jayhawks. Despite being let go by the Red Raiders, Kingsbury somehow fell up into a cushy NFL gig after the briefest of stints as USC Offensive Coordinator. His only real claim to coaching fame throughout his entire career is the fact that he coached Patrick Mahomes years ago now. That is not a good reason, or a reason for that matter, to hire someone, let alone keep that coach employed after seasons of underachieving performances. Offense is supposedly Kingsbury's calling card, but Arizona hasn't posted a top 10 finish in points under his watch. Let's be real, talent is not the issue here either. The franchise has been willing to go out and spend on free agents or make trades. It's not like he inherited Sam Darnold and a bunch of flotsam like poor old Matt Rule in Carolina. There's no other way to say it. Cliff Kingsbury is a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad football head coach. A modern day Dave Weinstead, only somehow less successful. There is a silver lining in all this and that is Arizona Cardinal fans are pretty awful and it really couldn't happen to a nicer group of people. That does it for me. I'm Cheyenne Hollis. This is The Touchback and as always, hashtag take it out to the 25.